And I guess you uh you opened up for Whitney Houston. For I'm the, on tour with Whitney Houston. You're on tour with Whitney Houston. Respect my name. People put respect on my name. All right? Let me tell you the things I've done. Put some respect on my motherfucking name. On tour with Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Bam. Can you say that? No. Opened up for Richard Pryor. Mm. Can you say that? No. Opened up for Ray Charles mm. at the Richmond Auditorium in 1989. I think 87. Mm. Ray Charles, baby. Uh, bam. Just want to put a little respect on my name. Any crazy uh, Whitney stories? No, nope. beautiful. Beautiful. Crazy thing about Whitney Houston, I'm performing at, and I don't know how many people. I, I think it was Floyd. I don't know. I don't know, a million people. I don't know. I don't know how big this thing. It was huge, and I'm performing. And Whitney Houston, you hear, "Go, Mark, go, Mark," and I look, and Whitney Houston will come and watch my show before her show. I remember I looked to the stage with Whitney Houston. I'm like, oh, and bam, and she was the coolest lady ever. I went to her wedding. I was at really. The yeah. When she married Bobby. Yeah. That was it. Ah. That was it. That's right. But rest in peace, Whitney, man. Such a best. such a she loss. Was the best. I remember greatest Whitney story. We were performing, big giant, you know, Coliseum, and she would do, you know, um, you know, prep, you know, she would come and sing before the show, you know, test the mic. I remember I walked all the way to the back of the Coliseum. I said, damn, I gotta perform in this. So I was doing Coliseums before I was doing clubs. Okay, people. Remember that, remember that. And boom, and Whitney Houston would just <laughs> and it would fill the whole Coliseum. It was a, it was crazy. I would be way at the back and you can hear her. It was just incredible. Yeah, I mean Whitney had one of the greatest, you know, female voices incredible of the last hundred years. Yeah. When Definitely she, top three. When she, like when she did the Super Bowl, I was there. Thank you. Hello. There we go. Okay. Also, just let me just put some respect on my name, Oakland Coliseum. Before I could even get into the punchline, they wouldn't even let me perform. I was doing the Oakland Coliseum with the Fresh Festival. Mm. Think about that. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. I was a comedian. For the Fresh Fest. Yes. The Fresh Fest with, uh, what's the? Uh, Houdini, Run DMC. Yeah. Houdini, Run DMC. Um, I remember NWA was a little group, Ice T. LL Cool J, LL Cool J came out, cleared everybody out. Uh, Eric B and Rakim, thank you. Just wanted to let you know. Put some respect on my name. Okay, so, <laughs> so then in '91 you were in uh, Talking Dirty After Dark. Yeah, with Martin Lawrence. Yeah, that was your first film. Yep, yep, first. first Martin film. Lawrence was a monster back then. He was a monster. Always has been a monster. Still is a monster. Still is a monster. Still is a monster. Is a monster. Working on Bad Boys too. Yeah, he's still a monster. Or Bad Boys 3. Yeah. Which one is it? <laughs> Bad Boys is it 3. Is it 3 now? I don't know. He's a monster. Always a monster. Always okay. has been. Since day one. So you're doing these shows. Me and Martin did our HBO specials together. Aha. You got your HBO specials. Mm -hmm. But then the TV show comes around. Yeah. I was offered. I was doing Showtime at the Apollo. They offered me a sitcom. And I was also offered in Living Color. People really? don't know that. Put some respect on my name. Why, why did you turn down in Living Color? Well, it was either Mr. Cooper or in Living Color. Oh, yeah. And I gave Steve Harvey the Apollo. Mm. I gave it to him. Put some respect on my name, Steve. I, I, I gave it to him. Okay. Then he ended up stealing my material. Damn. For real? Yeah. Look it up. What did he steal? Yeah, Bob. Yeah, this is Bob TV. Look it up. <laughs> Well, on this TV show, he did a whole thing on Halloween. Mm -hmm. And that was all my bits. And so he did his whole thing on Halloween. Look it up. I want you people to look it up. On this TV show, look, he talking about Halloween. Uh, my mama put boxes on us. Dude, that was my material. Come on, man. And he used all my material. And I confronted him. He like he didn't know. <laughs> but maybe he didn't. Maybe, maybe some writers gave it to him, you know. Maybe. Maybe. But still, that's my livelihood. You know, you taking money, you know, I wrote that because it really happened. Put some respect on my name, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, I can see why you would turn down being a cast member on A Living Color to having yeah. your own show yeah. on Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, yeah, it was a Living Color. Because I used to do warm up for A Living Color. Damon, mm. I was on tour with Damon. He would let me do, even after my HBO special, I was still doing warm up for A Living Color. 
Mm-hmm. Because I think it was a job. And you know, people it wasn't beneath me. I had an HBO special. I was still Right. And Living Color was one of the hottest shows oh back my then. God. I it used was, to watch him film yeah. it. Till two in the morning, three in the morning. Yeah. I said, yeah. I mean, you're talking about Jim Carrey. That was how he got started. Jim Carrey, Damon. Damon Wayne. I mean, all the Ken, Wayne's family. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, man. Uh even uh Jennifer Lopez was a backup yeah, dancer. Jennifer, she, was a, yeah. she, she was one of the... You, she was the one you didn't even look at. She wasn't the finest <laughs> one. You didn't even look at. Exactly. And she became Jennifer Lopez. So then you got the show Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Bum, bum, bum. She uh, ended up running for five seasons? Yep, five and, uh, seasons. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. What, what network was it on? ABC. ABC. Yeah. So you were on one of the big networks with a major show. Yeah. How, how did that feel to really star in a sitcom like that? It felt incredible. It felt... Very incredible. It was, um, it was, it was the most, you know, iconic thing ever. It's, it's beyond, you know, it was beyond a dream. And actually, it was a dream. It, you know, it was like, wow. But I was trying to be intelligent as possible, Mr. Cooper. You know, that's why I, instead of the basketball, you know, I was, you know, I would have a laptop and, you know, we try to, I wanted to be a little educated. I didn't want to be a buffoon, you know. So, I, you know, and Mr. Cooper was awesome. It was made me an international star, international. Right, because it got syndicated all over the yeah. world. I walk in, if I walked to Australia, people knew me. When I went to Australia, went to Germany, Pro Sieben, I went to Spain, I went to Africa. You know, I'm in Africa, in Tanzania. No, I was in um, yeah, Tanzania, and I'm taking a leak outside the car, and I just heard somebody say, Mr. Kuba! Mr. Kuba! I looked on the hill. I said, I saw, how you guys know? Is you? Everybody know you. Come on, now. <laughs> what are you saying? You can tell your dog. We know who you are. Whoa. Oh, the African accent. Love yeah, it. Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was the first one to perform in Africa, people, after Richard Pryor. Really? Yeah. Aha. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. And Raven Simone is on the show. Yes. This is after the Cosby show. Yes. Which was the biggest thing ever. Yes. After yeah, after the Cosby but show. Was, it, was that like her first role after Cosby? I think it was. I think it was. Ha. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she was eight. becoming a big star now. Yeah. She was a big star already. She was yeah. already a big star. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. She was a big star. Well, she was new on the Cosby show. She was yeah. a, the newest member yeah. of the Cosby yeah. show as it was kind of starting to end. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's now... She was a household name then, but now she's doing more stuff and right. she's getting bigger. But what was what was she like back then? She's incredible. Knew her lines, you know, was professional. She was, you know, a little professional. She knew my lines. She, she knew <laughs> she knew my lines. No Mark, that's yeah, not how it yeah, goes. No Mark. Stick to the script. Yeah, Uncle Mark. <laughs> Call me Uncle Mark. So yes, I you know, she's incredible. Incredible actress. She's still going. Right. I mean, when you look at child stars, you know, a lot of them kind of, as they get older, they yeah. turn into train wrecks. Yeah. Not Raven Simone. Not Raven. Not Raven. Yeah, she's still an empire. 